physics class. This is Mrs. Cracky with the second video in our group of three videos about projectile motion where we're launching our projectile horizontally. So all three of these we're going to be dealing with a cliff for simplicity. The ball is launched horizontally and so please remember that v0y or initial velocity in the y direction for these type of problems is zero. First video addressed type one of these problems. This video will address type two where we know the height and the horizontal distance traveled. That's this part and this part of the drawing, but we do not know the initial velocity or V0 in the X direction. So let's take a look at today's question. I have a ball and it is launched horizontally from the top of an 80 meter tall cliff and it lands 24 meters away. How fast was the ball launched? Step one in solving any physics problem is make a well-labeled diagram. So here's my diagram. I'm going to label it. I'm going to start at the beginning of my question and note that it's from the top of an 80 meter tall cliff. So the first thing I'll do is I will label dy, which is the height of my cliff, 80 meters. Please make sure that you include units here, especially in the event that you'll end up needing to convert any units. In this problem, we won't need to convert, but it's a good practice to get into. It lands 24 meters away. So I might say it lands 24 meters away from the bottom of the cliff, but it means the same thing, that this is dx, or distance in the x direction is 24 meters. And the question says, how fast was the ball launched? So that tells me what I'm looking for is v0 in the x direction. That's my question mark, okay? So step one, just like in our other type, is find the time because the time that it takes the ball to travel horizontally is identical to the time that it takes if it were dropped um, without any horizontal speed at all. So step one, find time. I'm gonna use the same equation that I used last time. After looking at, sorry, after looking at the equations I have available to me, I'm gonna take a look and realize that once again, I don't have a final speed. And once again, there's my final speed. So I need to use this middle equation. I'm gonna do that. dy equals 1 half at squared plus v0y t. So since I drew this as a positive number, I'm gonna say that down is positive for my example again today. You can choose whichever one you want, but if you choose that uh, up is positive, make sure that your distance the ball travels is negative as well as the acceleration is negative in order for this to work out mathematically and to have agreement with your signs. So in this case, I'm once again taking a look, realizing that since v0y is zero, this value will be zero. So dy, equals one half at squared. So 80 meters equals one half times 10 times t squared. So this is 580 divided by 580 equals 5t squared. I'm going to divide both sides by five and I get 16 equals t squared which tells me that t is four seconds. Now that I have time and I have horizontal distance, I can find initial velocity in the x direction. So vox times time equals distance in the x direction. I wrote this equation out, just reversed it. So if I want to solve uh, for vox, I'm going to divide both sides by t. vox equals dx divided by t. That's going to be 24 meters for dx, 4 seconds for t, 24 divided by 4 is 6 meters per second. Meters over second gives me meters per second. So my final answer for this problem is that the ball was launched with a horizontal velocity of 6 meters per second. I hope that's helpful.